Hello, hello. This is going to be a very quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool in Photoshop. Um, lots of questions uh, after the last tutorial. Um, what I would ask is that you email me if you have any questions that are not relating to the tutorial that um, I've shown. So the crop tool is a tool that allows you to crop a certain part of an image and I'm using a Mrs Cogs page from Healers and Apothecaries and I've decided that I'm going to just crop out one of these images. It might be you've purchased a kit and you only want to print one at a time and this is how you can do that. So the first thing we need to do is unlock our layer and I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to hit enter. I'm not going to rename it but this now means we can now work on this image. So the move tool is at the top, you've then got your three selection tools and this tool here that looks like um, an L and an upside down L, that is your crop tool so we're going to click that. You can use the selection tool first as we did in a previous tutorial but this is how to use the crop tool right off the bat. So you can see you've got little squares, little lines at the side of your image and this is where you can drag. Now the new crop tool is slightly different as in it moves the page as well as move your lines. So it's a little bit fiddly. So I'm going to crop out this image on the right. You just use your lines, drag them across until you get, like I said it is a little bit fiddly, <laughs> until you get the selection that you're looking for. And again once you're happy with that image, you've got the two options. You can hit the tick at the top here, or you can just pr press enter on your screen. And to zoom in, I'm going to use command and plus, and you can see that is our image nicely cropped. So what I would say is you do not hit just file and save. If you go to file and save as, I'm going to change this to healers cropped. I, I'm not worried about keeping this as a Photoshop document. I am straight away going to change this to a JPEG and it's saving into my Mrs. Cog file which I don't want. Um, generally I would save any images that I've altered onto the desktop because they're nice and easy to find unless you've got a really well organised folder system. Um, I save everything onto the desktop because the chances are I'm editing it because I want to continue using that image. Um, um, for now I'm just going to save that into my Mrs Cog file. Hit OK. We get our dialog box up again about the quality of the image. I'm keeping that at 12 and I'm going to hit OK. So now if I close Photoshop I know this document is going to be in my folder. So thank you for watching. Nice and simple, straightforward. And obviously you can go ahead and you can continue to crop if you want to. Let's do that. So if you're just cropping one particular image, you can crop part of the image that you would like to have. There we go. So that is how you use the crop tool. And don't forget to go ahead and save that. All right, thank you very much. See you soon.